We can all imagine the devastation hurricanes bring to shore, from destroyed homes to flooded streets, flattened forests, and power outages of epidemic proportions. Well, it turns out that hurricanes could be just as devastating to denizens of the deep ocean. At sea, a hurricane's high-velocity winds violently churn the surface water, producing large waves that ripple out from the storm's epicenter. Over time, these waves begin to collide with one another and combine their energy. When they become big enough, they can transfer this growing energy all the way down to the seafloor below. If these deep, growing, underwater energy waves collide with something solid and abrupt like the American Continental Shelf, they can produce something a lot like a 3.5 magnitude earthquake underwater. Wen Yun Fan has appropriately named these underwater tremors stormquakes. Stormquakes, the force is generated within the ocean. Fan is a former postdoctoral scholar at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, or HUI for short. He's now a seismology professor at Florida State University. In 2018, he and his colleagues studied data from the seismic stations that span the U.S. continent, part of a larger nationwide program called EarthScope. Initially, they set out to study earthquakes on land along the coast. But as they worked their way through data from land-based seismic stations, they noticed something peculiar. We start to see all this events popping up uh, near the uh, offshore British Columbia region. At first, his team thought these seafloor seismic events off the western coast of Canada were caused by earthquakes from faults on land. But by analyzing the energy waves, Fon realized that the source of these tremors was actually far out at sea. What's more, these seafloor quakes followed a pattern. After processing for a few years, we start to realize such things have clear seasonality. That seasonality struck Fon as odd because earthquakes can happen at any time of the year. It's very unlikely to be an earthquake because earthquake doesn't have seasonality, but more likely to be something that has seasonality, for example, weather. Specifically storms and hurricanes. Fon's team identified more than 1,400 storm quake events from 2006 to 2015. Many were triggered by relatively small storms, but the biggest storm quakes, those caused by major hurricanes, radiated out more than 90 miles. That's more than half the size of Boston in every direction. But Fon says not every storm over the ocean will generate a storm quake on the seafloor. Two key factors come into play here. The first is the topography of the ocean bottom. To generate a storm quake, the energy from a storm needs to encounter some underwater feature that juts out from the seafloor, the continental shelf, a seamount, or an ocean bank, for example. The second factor is the depth of the water, also known as the ocean's bathymetry. When the bathymetry is, is not right, storm quakes will not be generated. The deeper the water, the more energy is needed to generate waves that can actually reach the seafloor. If the water is too deep relative to the storm's energy, the waves won't reach the bottom, so no storm quake. British Columbia, like New England, has its own abrupt, shallow continental shelf, the perfect conditions for a storm quake. But along the U.S. east coast, from New Jersey going south towards Florida, ocean depth changes more gradually as you approach the shore. In regions such as that, Fan says, Very strong storms might not be able to cause, cause storm quakes at all. For example, Hurricane Sandy, Superstorm 2012, didn't generate any storm quakes. On land, there are many kinds of natural disturbances, from forest fires to tornadoes and blizzards, all affecting an ecosystem's habitats and its stability. Could a storm quake play a similar role on the ocean floor? It is indeed a natural dis disturbance to the ecosystem for that particular region. Along with Hui scientists Steve Elger and Britt Robenheimer, Fon intends on proposing a new study that will gain insights into how regular a disturbance storm quakes truly are. To do this, the team aims to install an array of seismometers and other sensors along Georgia's bank, about 180 miles southeast of Massachusetts, to record the energy waves that are making it to the seafloor. The, the discovery of storm quakes, to me, is we really pushed our intellectual understanding of what's around us. It makes me feel very humble about 
you know, how little we know about nature. Another question Fawn is interested in answering is how climate change could affect this newly discovered phenomenon. As our oceans warm, hurricanes are growing stronger, producing more consistently powerful waves. Fawn believes this could intensify storm quakes, at least for northern storms that linger along the continental shelf. For Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, I'm Daniel Hentz.